and I'm back with a new video. Um, so in today's video, this is actually one of the, um, old unboxings that I've been talking about, um, that I've had in my backlog, that I'm working my way through the backlog of things. Um, this is actually one of my, um, favorite, uh, subscription bags that I've been with on and off for, like, a few years, even before I did YouTube and stuff. Um, so I do really like the company. I've just been so backlogged on videos and things, um, which is my Ipsy. Um, they've updated their prices, and I believe it's, like, $12 now. It was 10 before. Um, and the... That's for the base. They have like three tiers now, which is like the lowest, and then like a mid one that's like 20 something dollars. Um, I have to look up the actual price for that, um, which is actually what I'm upgraded to now, um, which I have December's and January's to unbox still. Um, and then they have a really high tier, which is like 50 or 100 or something like that. But that's, and the tiers are basically the type of products you get. Like, I know the mid-tier you get like full-size products. These are usually like sample size. And then the big tier is supposed to be like, you get like really premium type of makeup and stuff. And then all three you get bags. The big one, uh, the highest tier you get like a big cosmetics bag. The medium tier you get about the same size as Ipsy, but it's usually like, a similar but different design it might be a tiny bit bigger um and then you get that for the small ipsy um they've upgraded their packaging too for this which it used to be like a hot dark pink color and it was metallic and it didn't say ipsy on it but now it does um so that's cool they've been updating their company and stuff um and this bag was my last ipsy uh, bag of the base level of the $12 a month plan because like I said I went up um, for a plan and um, I like I'm no longer getting the bag but this was my last one and this one is from November um, okay <laughs> had to get all that information out of the way and I'll put like um, the stuff for their website and prices and stuff in the uh, stuff below if you're curious and you'd like to try it, but this was the bag for November. It's all leopardy It says ipsy on it. I don't know if you can see that but it says ipsy and it has a little tassel um, Which I love these bags um, this bag actually I'm going to be giving away to a friend um, the bag anyway, not everything in it um I don't even remember what was in this bag because they have a like a cheat thing but on their website like it tells you what's in the bag if you look for tracking and stuff usually if you read it um, and I always read it because I'm just curious what they match me to because they have you fill out a survey and they do match you with products and stuff as far as what they have in stock and what they can match you to they try to a little bit match it a lot of people are like oh they didn't get me exactly right and it's like well it's just what they have in their stock the, that month, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, this says, Wild Side, November uh, 2019. This month, dare to step into uncharted territory, electric lipsticks, passion projects, far-flung destinations by learning into the unknown, just so you might um, find the most authentic version of you. And then... Uh, they also have started doing the month before um, on a certain day, like usually towards the end of the month, um, like about the 25th or something, um, or maybe like the very first of the month, they'll have you um, pick one product. You don't have to, but they give you the option to pick one product that is available for your type of bag. Uh, for to be in your your bag for that month and They try to build up a bag around that product or something is what, what it said when I Read it. Um, I'm not gonna look in here because like I said, I knew what was in here But I don't know now because it's been a couple months uh, So it's gonna be a surprise um, 
this was outside the bag probably because it's so big but this says a uh, gg gorgeous and this is it's covered with this but this is very soft and i really like it i love brushes uh, a lot of people don't um like the brushes but i love getting makeup brushes it's very soft and it's i think it's like um a blush brush or like a blender kind of brush but it's very smooth and very soft um, and I do like that product and it's actually sturdy usually they send like small brushes in these bags um, so like I really like that product um, let's see what we got next um, this is a delectable butter bomb hand cream triple citrus blend and I don't think it has much of a smell to it. Oh, yeah, it does. It smells like orangey, um, which I'm fine with orange. Sometimes they send me some stuff that smells like old people, and that's not cool. And I usually give those away, but I'll probably keep this one because I do like the orange smell. Um, let's see. I think this is the one of the products that I actually had requested in my bag um, and I don't even know how to use it but it sounded interesting it says de-stress relieve and nourish safe for sensitive skin this is an ultra repair oat and cannabis stevia seed oil first aid beauty and I think this is just like an oil you put on your skin and rub in I'm gonna have to do some research on it and it's smaller than I thought it would be but that's what it looks like and there's a little eyedropper thing. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research but I could use some skin repair and that sounded interesting. Uh, so that was of the things that they had like the five products they gave me to choose from that was what I had chose. I do remember that. Um, and then this is what is this? Color Club The Future of Color Nail Lacquer and it is in the shade Catwalk. Um, I wonder if this is a black nail polish or what. Because the outside's black. It doesn't really show a, what Catwalk is. Okay. It's actually a red nail polish. Um, which it looks might look brown on the thing. But it's, it is red. Um, very red. And I do like nail polishes. I haven't painted my nails in forever. Um, because I don't have any nail polish. I used to have, like, a whole bucket of nail polish at one point in time. But, yeah, um, I might start painting my nails again. Because I got that, uh, red nail polish. So that's pretty cool. And then the final item for this month, so November's, is a Fiorita or Huda. I'm not really sure because you can't tell if it's an F or an H. Uh, beauty. And it says lip strobe. And that's the color. Um, and I will try this on. I usually try to not have any or much makeup on when I do the these in case there is something that I can try on. If not, I just like swatch it or something. But this looks like it's going to be very kind of like sticky if that makes sense like glossy I guess is the word um, but that's what it looks like and then on is it's very shiny from the looks of it it's like a nude kind of color though got are a very like pinky color and it's very shiny like I said um which I will use this, but it will be like a top coat type of color I'll do with this. Like I'll probably put this on top of another lipstick or something. Um, and then I'll show you the bag again. And that is it for November's bag. Um, that was everything that was in it. Um, like I said, I do like Ipsy, the company and stuff. I'm still with them. But I have upgraded, which I need to film like two boxes because I'm, I'm so behind you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, did, 
are have you guys done ipsy before do you do ipsy um i know this is late posting like two months two three months late but um what did you think of these products what would your favorite product have been um anything you want to know any types of videos you want to see in the upcoming year um let me know and comment below or just leave a general comment or whatever um but yeah until next time i'll see you in my next video guys bye